Hi guys, I'm QB from Tech Engineer and I will update you guys with the latest tech news of today. First news is about Xiaomi Mi Pad 5 tablet. Xiaomi has officially announced that it is going to launch a new tablet this year. This will end a 3 year wait of new tablet from Xiaomi. The new tablet will come with a lot of similarities with the newly released Xiaomi Mi Mix 4. Xiaomi Mi Pad 5 comes with an 11 inch of display size which will be a significant increase on its predecessor which has an 8 inch of display. The display will sport 2K resolution with a 144Hz refresh rate. It will use Snapdragon 870 which has a better performance than Snapdragon 865 Plus that is used in Galaxy Tab S7. We can assume that this upcoming tablet has better performance than Galaxy Tab S7. Next news is about LG Electronics that has announced to close its smartphone communication business. At first LG tried to sell its smartphone communication business and they were in discussion with a lot of companies but those discussions were not successful. So at the end, LG tried to close the door for this business. The employees from this department will move to the other departments of the company. Next is Microsoft Shutdowns Cortana Sport on iOS and Android. It is the latest series of moves to end the Microsoft Sport on multiple devices, including Microsoft's own headphones. Microsoft has already removed it from the Apple App Store and Google's Play Store. Cortana isn't completely finished, it will be used in conversational AI and the company is trying to reposition Cortana as an assistant that can improve Microsoft enterprise focused offerings. Sony is going to announce new Xperia phone on 14th April. The company is going to launch Xperia 1 Mark III, Xperia 5 Mark III and Xperia 10 Mark III. The specification of Xperia 1 Mark III has also leaked. The device is expected to come with 6.5 inch 4K OLED 120Hz display with an aspect ratio of 21 by 9. It will come with Snapdragon 888 with 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. A 64 megapixel main camera, a periscopic camera, a 5000 milliamp battery, and 65 watt fast charging. It's very exciting whenever a new phone comes. Let's see the prices because normally Sony prices are a little bit more higher than their competition. ZTE watch goes official alongside Live Birds SE. The watch will come with 1.3 inch AMOLED display. It is made up of lightweight aluminium alloy and weighs only 30 grams. The dial of this watch is round with multiple colored strips. It also sports 580M waterproof rating and you can use it to monitor your swimming activities. ZTE Watch sports 16 sports mode. The company adds a special touch to the football mode which can track the positions you are playing in real time on the field. It offers 15 days of battery life and the price for this watch is $90. ZTE Live Buds SE. I am not sure they are special edition buds but the SE is with them. Lifebirds SE are in ear design with long stems. They also support IPX4 which is protection against light rain. The price for these birds is $23. So if you like this video, please watch my other videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel.